Hello you guys, it is Mario Pack with another video. And like I always say, don't be scared to fall because you may fall into a better situation. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another Monday. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. A few months ago, I made a video about straight men going gay for pay. That logic is very, very true. When you think about men, and when you think about some of the men and the things that you hear about men and the stereotypes that are aligned with some men are looking for stability and looking for something to cling to and basically looking for a come up. I don't think it's too far fetched to say that a man would use a gay person to come up. A few months ago when I first moved to Atlanta, my barber was telling me that um, he has a lot of gay clients and I don't know what it is about like barbers and stuff. They always feel like they just have to over assure me that they're not homophobic or things like that, which I really appreciate it, but you really don't have to do it. It's kind of how like sometimes when you're around older people and they're always like, sis, girl, you know, like, yes, like doing it too much. It's like they're, it comes off a little bit forced. I get the intent behind it, so it doesn't really offend me, but it's like sometimes it just be like, I, I'm just coming to get my hair cut. You know, I'm good. You know, we, we don't really have to talk about what I do outside of the barbershop. I get it, you know, I, I love that some people are trying to be considerate, so, you know, I can, I can, you know, look at it for that. But, he said to me that my gay customers tip the most, and I'm not surprised, like, gays, we are about our money. Men know the straight and the trade agenda is something that is very popular within the community, so I feel like they use this to their advantage to get money. It's becoming more of a thing for women to trick on men, but also for gays to trick on DLs, trades, or straight men. And the reason I say straight men is because a man can participate in gay acts and not be gay. And there are men out here, you may not believe this, but there are men out here that they will do anything for some money. They do anything for stability as long as it is behind closed doors. Yeah, so that's that's just that. With that being said, I also want to talk about how gayness cannot be really replicated. I think a lot of people think that gay people just act like females. No, it's a really, really exaggerated and very specific emotion that is tied to gayness. It's very hard to act like a gay person. And a lot of people think that you have to act like a female, but it's not really just acting like a female. It's actually more to it. The point is, is I think that us gay people, we see some of these, these people on Instagram and these people on TikTok or wherever else, they're claiming to act like females. It's a different type of demeanor when it comes to acting like a female and acting like someone who is homosexual. We can tell the two. We can see the difference. So when a gay person be like, oh, that's a queen. That's one of the girls. We know. And it's not something that can easily be replicated. And we all know this. It's lucrative to be gay. So I'm not surprised that a lot of straight men act like this. But it's very clear to a lot of gay people when it is an act versus it actually being something that that person is. Of course, there's nothing wrong with it. I could never judge anybody or whatever. I'm, I would never condone forcing anybody to come out of the um, closet. And I would never ever get on or in someone's comments and tell them that they're gay before they have acknowledged that or came to terms with that themselves. But however, I can clearly see what I see. Gayness is not acting like a female. It's a different type of demeanor. Word to We Love Shay because I really felt it when she said the performance is when they take off the wig. And that is no shade. The show is when they take off the wig. And the gays, we know a queen when we see one. So I know that. So now let's talk about how straight men that put on a persona to pretend to be gay just to get to women. But I think it's actually really, really funny to think something like that. I've seen straight men that wholeheartedly believe this, that there are men that pretend to be gay to get close to women. And the thing is, I think that it does happen, but I don't think it happens as often as they think. I think it's quite funny um, to say this to a woman. It really screams insecurity 
A man that knows that he isn't doing right by a woman. A man that is unfaithful. A man that is a liar. That is all he's going to see in everyone else. He's always going to have that in the back of his mind about other men because that is how he is. That is how he operates. So that is how he sees other men. Some people have a really hard time by separating themselves from everyone else. Because just because you feel that, that doesn't mean that everyone else operates from that idea. You're blind to what you don't believe in. You think that everybody else is a liar because you're a liar. So I feel like when men say things like this, they think of other men like this because they know that they would go to great measures to cheat on women. So when they look at another man or a gay person that, that they don't believe is gay, they believe that to be true because they know that they will go to great heights to cheat. So they see that in other men. I feel like it's crazy. I feel like that's very, very crazy. If men believe that other men have that level of devotion to cheating because they have that level of devotion to cheating. And not every gay man can be accused of this because some people it's just very, very obvious. But I feel like in some cases there are gay men that look entirely like straight men. And, you know, it, there will be straight men that get intimidated by that when they have like a, a, um, a baddie best friend. They'll be like... Is she fucking him on the low? But it's like, no. You know, a woman really has to be an absolute dog to bring another man around you in your face and be fucking on him on the low and pretending like he's gay. Gayness is not just acting like a female. It's a specific way we talk. It's a specific way we we act. If they're trying to pretend to be, we can spot it from a mile away, child. It's, it's, it's actually crazy. We know our people. We actually do know our people. And I feel like if a person is acting, in most cases, if it's too good to be true, they're probably not acting. And I hate to say that. I really hate to say that. But if the acting is too good to be true, they're probably not acting. As always, I would say I would like you guys to stay honest. And I hope you guys are having a good February. And we're heading directly into March. So don't forget to check back here every Monday. I upload videos every Monday. Check out my vlogs playlist and check out some other vlogs and just kind of keep up with my life over the years. I've document a lot and I've been doing this for years. So if you're interested in what I kind of do behind the scenes, like the Pretty Introverts series or whatever, I'm going to get off this camera and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm, I'm slowly peeling back the layers on my personality. It's kind of hard for me to get on this camera and not be so serious. I don't know what that is. But we're going to work on that. And hopefully you guys like the personality that you're going to see. Because child, oh, a lot coming. I got a lot of story times coming. A lot of stuff I'm ready to get off my chest. Please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video.